This is another Clash Academy Valhalla Files uh, special. Epic three stars versus Tunnel 10 with healers. Yes, healers. Now, what you need to understand about a healer is that she starts by targeting the closest unit that has taken damage. After that, she'll look to see which units have a higher housing space or groups of units. And the more housing space that group of units has, the more pull it has to take that healer and have her change targets. It also has the ability to keep her on the target she has. So, prepare for the dreaded quad healer attack. I started using this strategy after the update because of the poison spell. The poison spell really freed me up to use um, more healers in my compositions instead of um, lure troops. Um, the earthquake spell also gave me some neat tricks to use and also allowed me to cue my spells differently. Um, this um, strategy trains really fast and packs a hard punch. Um, I always deploy my giants into two groups, a lot like golems and a go wee wee. I deploy my healers immediately behind because they're a lot more predictable this way. Um, it's a lot easier to uh, make sure she ends up on the unit, units you want her to heal because the giants have a high housing space as a group. Um, as you look there, I'm going to hit to the left and to the right to clear the buildings there. It's because I want my units to go down the center and into the core. And in this group, I always have about seven giants, seven or six, um, and I want them to go ahead of my Valkyries to start occupying the nearest Inferno. Um, and once those units start closing in and that Inferno is occupied, I'll drop a Rage spell and I'll blitz that nearest Inferno. Once that nearest Inferno is destroyed, uh, I'll uh, freeze the second one and place a Heal spell. That will allow me to um, basically get my units that were damaged up to full strength and because of blitzing the first inferno I free up my spell space so that I can carry um, things besides freeze. Healers um, have the benefit of um, if your uh, wizards get close to a wall while they're trying to shoot down buildings the healers will start healing the wizard because often they'll be uh, alongside the giants. Um, the um, healers also give by the giants some time to work their way through the walls and because of their higher uh, DPS they eventually will. Um, this is an advantage you don't get with golems and um, even though um, they need a lot more support sometimes they will be able to carry you to that three star. Now I'm going to move into my second three star and uh, I'm going to point out some qualities of this base that made it great for a quad healer. Uh, if you look here, once I drop those earthquake spells, I've pretty much opened up the entire base. So my units aren't spending a lot of time um, attacking walls. That's pretty important because healers and giants, uh, particularly if the wizard towers are right behind a wall that they have to hit to get through, get whittled down by splash defenses rather quickly. Now if you look at this base here, the um, air defenses are spread wide and uh, wizard towers are on the outside layer. That's important because um, they're not near the core um, where my units might spend some time trying to attack their way outside of the wall. Um, the Giants and Valkyrie actually do pretty good if uh, versus point defenses but um, they take a lot of damage to splash because of the large groups they have. If you look here I'm going to uh, go down the middle again and I'm going to point out the importance of waiting with this technique until you take out the first inferno. That means the timing of the spells becomes really crucial. You have to um, time the rage so that you quickly take out the first inferno and you have to time the freeze so that you make the maximum use of your heal spell. And if you do that you'll break the base and hopefully have plenty of oomph to continue attacking the rest what I really love about this strategy is it's so terribly efficient. I use all Tier 2 troops, basically, and um, the only DE troops I really use are the Valkyrie and the DE spell of Earthquake. Um, so if you add in the 1,300 uh, loot bonus I get at Champions 2, I make massive amounts of Dark uh, Elixir and I'm able to take on pretty strong bases. The only ones I really watch out for are those Zap ones or um, Max Heroes because, um, well, Max Heroes can be tough to take out. 
But um, otherwise, the strategy is really efficient, and it's pretty fun to do because, um, like I said, I, I like imagining the faces of uh, these Town Hall 10 players who probably only ever get strong hit from a Go Wee strategy or a Lava Lunia to log on to see a giant healer-based strategy um, three-starring them. This is actually the raid that got me started to, uh, thinking about doing this video in the first place. As you can see here, I still have a jump spell and one poison because I didn't have access to the earthquake spell yet at this point. Um, I had started uh, modifying my tornado at this point um, using two healers on one set of giants and then a golem on the other side um, because I was still using lure troops so I couldn't really afford to have four healers. But I used basically the same strategy. I hit left and right. Um, I have an extra freeze spell in this composition so I'm able to use that a bit earlier. But um, the first time I used a strategy on this base and I got a 96%, I really wasn't expecting it. And I probably could have gotten 100 if I hadn't just spanned my troops near the end. But honestly, I was quite surprised. I've been using this strategy for a long time. And uh, three stars at Town Hall 10 are pretty rare. But as you see here, um, it's pretty effective on these bases where you don't have to spend much time um, destroying walls. And um, the Valkyrie actually clears through um, the weakened parts of the base that you've hit with Earthquake really fast because of their splash damage. They're doing damage to two, three buildings at a time. So that extra damage you do with the Earthquake spell is actually really effective in particular for the quad healer. This next raid is a particularly devastating one. And I want to point out some of the reasons the base was pretty vulnerable to this attack strategy. If you look there, the splash damage is um, on the outer layer and close together and the um, air defenses are close together and in the center of the base. This means my giants that are being healed can focus on the wizard towers while they don't have to worry about the actual splash damage because of the healer and my valkyrie and main giant force can rush forward and take out the air defenses before they become much of a problem. I'm actually going to steamroll this base, and um, my uh, queen's going to make it out pretty much with full health. Um, and that's pretty much because this base is just perfect. If you look there, the sweeper really isn't a big factor in where I attack from, because uh, usually sweepers are near air defenses, and um, they'll actually push the healer back out of the range of the air defense. Um, briefly there, I had circled that... Um, space there and that's why I attacked from that angle that little gap where the base jutted out there the Valkyrie were more likely to go inside anytime you have a ring if all the buildings are basically touching each other the Valkyrie because of their AI will pretty much follow the ring around so when you choose a point of attack you really want to choose a spot where there's a gap in that ring and that's where you blow a hole with your earthquake or your jump spell because the Valkyrie um, they're going to look for where there's a group of buildings so if there's a gap somewhere in that ring, it's the best place to um, reliably get the Valkyrie where you want them to go. So if you look here, I basically have just about all my healers still kicking. One went down to that um, air defense, and I am just slaughtering the base now. Um, I have, I've encountered um, wizards and um, witches in the CEC before, and they're pretty easily taken out by the poison spell. And then um, Lava Hounds are a bit of a gamble. If they lock onto a giant, they really do absolutely nothing. Um, if they occupy your queen and wizards, they can <coughs> basically mess up your raid. But there you go. Four three stars against Town Hall 10s with healers. So this has been a Valhalla Productions under the Clash Academy series. Um, special thanks to SK, the original inventor of the Valkyrie Tornado. I'm no longer an active player, and please check out our other allied clans.